You are there, ladies and gents. How is it going? You find me up in the Yorkshire Dales, isn't it, Paul? Up in the Yorkshire Dales, I'm with Paul, aka Biking Buddies, a YouTube channel I follow for ages. There'll be links up in one of the corners here and at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, do check him out. He's an awesome, awesome guy, and he's been my host. He's very kind. He put me up in his house and fed me and drank me. No, he doesn't drink me. He's given me drinks um, and just been an absolutely incredible host. So thank you, Paul. Thank you very much to you and your family, your wonderful family. Um, very, very kind of you. But yeah, Paul's on a T7. It's lovely, lovely motorcycle. Um, I'm on my Aprilia Touareg 6. 60 and uh, then we've got Stuart on another T7 and Richie on a Husky 701 Enduro. Um, it's going to be an awesome day. I'm going to be a bit um, out of water, a fish out of water with this because it's all going to be sort of rocky scrambles I think. Um, but I'm really looking forward to trying some different trails and uh, being in a different part of the world. Glorious weather as you can see, about 18 degrees at the moment. It's going to get hotter and I'm going to get sweaty in this stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Brilliant stuff. Right, oh, let's crack on. Keep that bar from a side down. Alright, so we are off and uh, thankfully I'm position number two at the moment, so it's not too dusty up in front. Uh, but I might end up having to shut my visor in a second because the pool is kicking up quite a bit of dust and uh, you really feel it on your eyes. Um, but yes, I guess this is the first trail. I uh, don't know how long it is. Doesn't look hugely long, but a nice introduction to uh, warm us up, get our bodies ready for the vigorous exercise to follow. <laughs> so I haven't got a huge idea what to expect exactly from today, other than uh, stunning scenery and uh, really good company. Now I've got to, I've got to shut my visor. I'm getting uh, eyes full of dust. I can, can barely see already. <laughs> one of the downsides to summer riding I guess is is everything's a bit drier um, but yeah yeah I've just had this bike serviced so the bike should be absolutely fine but um, although they bled the brakes on the service and they're feeling a bit spongy again so I might need to get them to have a look at that um, I've got to uh, pop down to Brighton Moto to get my replacement spoke um, that snapped um, at some point over the period I've owned the bike the sods law that turned up the day uh, um, I rode up to Yorkshire. Now Yorkshire is not local to me. This is uh, around 250 miles I've had to ride up to come up here, um, which is why it's absolutely amazing that Paul has hosted me and Paul's family have hosted me. So thank you all. Thank you all. Hello cows. Hello people. Moo. Oh, baby cows. Baby cows are awesome. So these Yorkshire trails are a little bit different to what I'm used to down south. Obviously, as you can see, the train is um, much more rocky and stony. Um, and so there's not going to be much mud, uh, which will be uh, a nice, nice to try something different. I'll take my turn at the back, so that way you get to see all the bikes up ahead. Um, so Paul leading on his T7, then you've got Stuart on his T7 and then uh, Richie in front of me on his 701. So this is really, really sort of quite small stoned gravel along here, which with my tyres I should be absolutely fine on, um, but it's like that confidence thing, isn't it? It's that confidence thing um, of feeling like you're, you've got the grip when you need it. might need to air down my tires. I don't know. Whee! I'm not a massive fan of the loose stuff. No, me neither. Fuck it all! I look at it and I think, right, I'll go over there. No, I'm over there now. <laughs> and I'm going all over the place. I was like, I'm glad that you, you, you're all suffering as well and you're more used to it. <laughs> <laughs> you just cling on and kind of react yep, to where yep. the bike puts me. It's never where I want to be. Yep, yep. Oh, well that was good though. It's warm me up. Yeah. Not that I need warming up. <laughs> so now we're off the gravel and onto sand. All the surfaces, all the surfaces. Oh, here we go. There's a little bit more scrabbly rocks here. These are a little bit easier than the chippings that we've just done. He says, nearly dropping it. <laughs> but I guess you've just got to find your own pace and rhythm with all this stuff. Pick your way through the trails. Um, I'm sure by the end of the day I'll feel an awful lot more confident on this stuff. And that's kind of the whole point for me of, of this ride that I'm doing, of these explores that I'm doing with uh, 
more subscribers and other channels that I follow is to learn how to ride different surfaces. Oh, I'm going all over the place now. I've got to try and rest my wrists a little bit. Keep my elbows up. And use my legs and knees to grip. Now this is all relatively flat stuff at the moment. <laughs> Paul did mention that there's some, going to be some good climbs and descents. Um, so I do apologise to them all for my slow pace. Wowzers, what a view, eh? What a view, glorious. I'm hoping I get plenty of opportunities to appreciate the view, as well as um, deal with the surface of what's in front of me and all that. Um, I've just got to uh, pick my battles um, and make sure I'm paying attention on the bits where I need to pay attention in front of me, and then uh, appreciate what's around me when I've got a breather on the, the surface. Cool, all you hard endurists are probably going, why are you going so slowly? <laughs> it's like I said in a, a previous video when I was um, playing around in the, the Tet down in uh, uh, Devon and uh, what have you. Um, I'm not a brilliant rider. Just uh, an average one at best, if not mediocre. And you get very used to the roads and trails that you ride yourself, which means that any surfaces that are different become quite alien quite quickly. This is all right here, this is all right here. I like this, we're doing okay. And downhill is easy, it's just gravity, it's just gravity. I'm gonna to get to the bottom, aren't I? Whether it's on the bike or not, it's a different question altogether. <laughs> what are you doing, sheepies? Silly sheep, lovely sheep. Oh, sand, 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 sand. <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to being able to uh, re-watch this myself and actually enjoy the scenery. <laughs> this is all fantastic practice, full fantastic practice. Oh man, awesome. This is so good, so good. Wowzers, wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely want to drink now. <laughs> but these views, hey, these views. They're incredible. I'm trying to be a little bit braver on the throttle now. It is a lot easier along here than it was at the start of these uh, these lanes. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to be a bit braver because it does make your life easier if you've just got a bit more momentum. Wowzers, just millions of nothing. I've been turning my cameras off for the bits off trail where we're just going through the, the little villages and stuff. Um, and I feel like I'm doing Yorkshire a complete disservice by doing so. It is so, so beautiful. And the villages, they're just amazing, amazing, beautiful, beautiful villages with just lovely old architecture. Um, it is fantastic. Now Paul, uh, aka Biking Buddies, um, he often leaves in a lot of the uh, the villagey stuff and the on-road stuff with his vlogs. Um, so do go check his channel out uh, because you'll see some of Yorkshire that you won't see unless you either experience it for yourselves um, or, or have an afterlife and get reincarnated as a Yorkshireman which I think would be a good reincarnation a good reincarnation indeed I've got to remember <laughs> that although I'm quite happy to uh, do little jumps and stuff on this bike <laughs> This surface is quite new to me, quite new to me, this gravelly, large gravelly rocks. Um, so when I land, it completely throws the bike about in a way I'm not used to. So uh, yeah, I must remember to be careful when uh, doing those little uh, pop-ups over some of them uh, drainage uh, channels. Oh man, rockety, rockety, rockety. This is wonderful, wonderful. This is a wonderful pool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know why, but I just took lead. I've no idea where we're going. Thankfully, there's only one track. <laughs> I'm assuming it's this way. <laughs> wow, look at that. Not shabby and uh, no dust in front of me. Awesome. <laughs> beautiful views, beautiful views. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> oh, it had to happen. <sighs> I just got a little bit tired. <laughs> oh. 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 All good. <laughs> That'll teach me to go first. Oh, is this that reservoir? down over the reservoir and then the track that runs along oh it goes off up that way doesn't it the trees yep and then from the trees up to the summit it's kind of just the other side of the fall yep and that gets a bit steep there doesn't it's it quite steep and it's it's not loose like this but it's kind of rocks that are headed in yep so you kind of should bounce bounced about a bit but like as long as you pick your route you should be all right yeah yeah it's one of those like you were saying last night it's the momentum yep yep but uh, i mean i've been up it once before and to be fair I'd say I probably rode 50% of it. Yep. The other 50% I was just a passenger. Yep. Which is kind of point and reaction. Okay, I'll just keep my speed down and. Uh, well, yeah, we'll have five minutes here. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll get some fluids in me. And then. Uh, For wow, what views, eh? What views? It's amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's try that again, shall we? And this time not die. <laughs> oh, I can already feel the bike <laughs> moving away from me. I think I'll paddle for this bit here just because there's a lot of rocks here I'll be alright in a second I think oh. Oh. <laughs> right let's see how we do I'm using my rear wheel as a anchor. Oh, try not to let the bike run away from me. Oh, wow, this. You don't want to get this wrong by yourself, would you? Oh, I don't really want to be over this side, but that's harder. It takes it out of you, that does. Okay, let's go again. I bet to you lot that looked flat and smooth. I can assure you, it very much wasn't. Oh. I'm glad we had a little break so I could just uh, get my breath back and uh, sort of reassess my life choices before carrying on. Glide down, <laughs> glide down, free wheeling. <laughs> awesome. Well, I didn't die. Well, I died once. I died once. There's Paul coming down. What'd you make of that? It was alright, it was easy with the engine off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredibly loose in places, though. Eh? Oh, so slidey, so slidey. That's awesome. I know the camera won't show it at all. The stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. We all made it alive. Well, I lost one life. <laughs> <laughs>
I need a power up. <laughs> I was listening to the music and the song came out was here. It's dangerous. Brilliant. Don't want to do it again. Once is enough. <laughs> oh wowzers. It's a shame the walls are high. Um, but oh, lovely. And a nice change in temperature through here. You can see how low the reservoir is from its normal level or from its max level, I guess. Brilliant! Brilliant! And there's Paul. These Land Rover guys have very kindly said that we can go up before them. So we've uh, just thrown our kit on quickly and uh, we're going to make this clamber. Hopefully, I won't hold them up. Again, climbs on GoPro just seldom look as steep as they are. It's jarring the suspension quite a bit, this. Suspension's handling it, but it's, it's jarring it. Can I hear it? But also, I think uh, it's okay for this bit here, and then it gets a little bit tricky again on uh, the next climb up. Um, that's just up here a little bit further and uh, around the corner. But how pretty is this? How pretty is this? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I find half the battle for me on this bike is body position. Um, so although I'm short, I'm quite heavy for my size. And I think uh, that makes a massive difference to how the bike handles. And it also makes a difference to how well I'm balanced on the bike. If uh, I get my bottom a little bit further back, it all, all works out a little bit better. But then I have to remember to grip properly with my knees. Grip properly with my knees. Right, the light boy's going first. Yep. So yeah, this one's Dead Man's Hill apparently. Um, so far it looks okay. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit gnarly on that climby bit there. But uh, giving each other a bit of room. Time to go next, or would you? you go first mate. That way you can't see me fall off. Well that's it, where I land, you go around this. <laughs> Pull, 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 stay on. Well done, mate. That's me mark and I've got to get past that. Yep. So I think the key is possibly staying right there. Oh. This could be a pickle. <sighs> Got moving again, that's good. My arms are killing now. Feeding in. Oh, I've got no, no way of getting my foot down on the right hand side at the moment. I can't do it. 
can't do it. That is steep and scrabbly. <laughs> I'll just slid backwards all the way down that bit there. <laughs> yeah, hang on a sec, let's get the uh, side step up. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you alright? Yeah. Oh my arms. Can you ever go, can you I tried paddling but I just had no grip. Can I have a yeah of course mate, of course. It's in gear. You got the bike? <laughs> right, well. I say we made it up here, we are all up here. I didn't make it up here. I had to, uh, I had to get uh, Richie to ride my bike up for me. Some of that climb there, it's over 45 degrees. And even just walking up it, I was dead. I had to stop several times. But how beautiful is that? We've just about got our breath back. Oh, I've just about got my breath back. They're all a lot fitter than me. Um, and we're uh, heading back off again. It's mental how quickly the terrain changes um, from rocky to sandy to gravelly it's quite quite crazy quite awesome as well uh, I'm glad we had a decent stop there just a chance to uh, let my arms relax out a bit and uh, catch my breath because that climb just the bit I did of it which was the easy well I say the easy bit I mean it, it did get quite steep <laughs> um, but yeah, I was done, I was done. I needed, I needed a break off the bike. So thank you, thank you Richie for uh, rescuing my bike for me. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, it's just like, it just disappears away from below us. It's uh, really, really quite steep this. So I'm, uh, just uh, trying to keep my speed from running away. Rolling, 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 roar hide, yeehaw! I feel like on a wagon trail. Cheers! Thanks, mate! Cheers! Ta! God, I'm gonna warm through them rear brake pads a bit quicker if it's all like this. So the engine braking on this is just not quite enough at this slow speed to hold the uh, hold the bike back. Thank you. Cheers, up. Thank you. Right. Well, we've just pulled up um, because Stuart uh, Stewie is uh, scooting off here. He came off on the hill that I didn't make it up on and uh, twisted his ankle a bit. So he's uh, bailing out on the rest of the day's trail riding and I don't blame him if you if you got hurt it's uh, it's it takes the joy out of um, the trails doesn't it and there's always then the risk that you could hurt it further um, by coming a cropper later on but all time <laughs> I feel like I'm back down south nice so Paul was saying uh, this one's a lot easier than the other stuff that we've done uh, which is nice just gives my shoulder a little bit of a break um, yeah it seems to be an injury that's getting worse and worse for me which is uh, really kind of concerning me a little bit um, I really hope it doesn't get to the point in the near future I hope it doesn't ever get to the point in the future but I hope it doesn't get to the point in the near future where I have to contemplate giving up the trail riding and possibly even the road riding but I'm sure it will at some point Maybe the doctors can do some magic, who knows? Well, you know, it's good when I've got into third gear. <laughs> oh, it is so, so picturesque around here. All farmland and these uh, mountainous regions and just animals and sheeps and 
just random dilapidated buildings and all that stuff it's just wonderful wonderful and all these uh, dry stone walls and what have you marvelous marvelous so steep little downhill here it's a reasonable grip though i'm not locking the rear up with the, the brake stuff that i'm doing um, it's shallowing out now a little bit it looks like it gets steeper again That was the first rut I've experienced today, that was. It wasn't a big one, thankfully, but just enough to let you know it was there. Ah, oh, look at them views, eh? Look at them views. It's very nice going through the shade. It's weird, I felt like I've spent half of this year already just moaning about it being cold and miserable, and now I'm uh, wanting to be in the shade. That's how the weather's changed over the last few weeks, which I like, I like it lotty. This is very awesome Paul, thank you so much mate. Um, it's, it's just been pretty much a perfect weekend, pretty much a perfect weekend. With awesome hospitality last night with uh, homemade pizzas and a couple of beers and then uh, and a barbecue tonight as well. Awesome, awesome. And what a legend put me up, a stranger, other than the YouTube. The internet is full of wonderful people. Paul is definitely, definitely one of them, and his whole family is. Yeah. That was good, that, yeah. Yeah, I was just saying on the way down there, it was nice being in the shade for that little bit there. It definitely was. I tend to snatch first gear on the corners and then strip back into second yep. to keep it going but there's nothing that you'll hit that will kind of it's not like dead man's that'll just ping you left and right okay so it should be good cool excellent right. awesome and then the garage for some water I think. definitely 100 percent i'm feeling it I'm yeah i might get a can of monster do a proper job oh <laughs> get yourself some of that lucas aid oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> get one for oh, i think we've just taken a five minute break but like look at that hey Look at that, glorious, wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. But yeah, we're uh, wiggling our way up there. Um, yeah, it looks like it would be quite cool. It's not like the chippings that we had previously, but it is a, a chippingy type thing. But I think uh, I've got the feel of the bike a little bit better today after the earlier stuff so i'm hoping i'll be okay on that one um yeah yeah don't want to get caught out and have to get richie to give me another another bail out <laughs> oh the sheep is thirsty sheep is thirsty <laughs> awesome right talking of thirsty so am i so paul's following us with his drone and uh there was a hawk or something like that that was chasing it down it's chasing it down um i think the uh, the drone's okay <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, the, the hawk was not happy. Um, hopefully, uh, when he brings it back up here, it won't won't annoy the bird. Um, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing we went past its nest or something like that, and it was just like defending its babies. I thought he thought it was dinner. <laughs> um, but this is quite a steep little climb. Um, but it's uh, a nicer surface. We've got this little bit where all the stones and stuff seem to have cleared. Um, but uh, I'm dropping down a gear just for the turn. And we are up, we are up, we are up, we are up. <laughs> Did you see the uh, bird of prey attacking it? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, just like, made a right beeline for it. Really? It must have a nest or some fish or Yeah, I'm guessing so. Well, I can very much see why well, this would be one of Paul's favourite trails around this neck of the woods. It is lovely, it really is. I do like a good climb, um, and they uh, do test your test your ability a little bit. Oh, that's my traction controls. That was my traction control wrecking me there. I know I should really turn the TC off, but I have found in general in most of the riding I've done with this bike so far that it's been more helpful than hindrance 
today has definitely proven to me that I really need to work on my fitness. I might have injuries that stop me doing the exercises that I used to enjoy, like running and what have you. Um, but I really need to start doing some kind of CV exercise. It would really, really help me. Ugh, eyes, can't see. Ugh, dust, dust. Now, if I had any skill, I'd be drifting around all this, but I don't. <laughs> so instead of which I'm holding everyone up. <laughs> it's kind of mental that there's like just absolutely nothing apart from grass, a few rocks and this trail. I have a feeling we're going to have some fantastic views in a second. I wasn't wrong. Oh, watch where you're going mate, watch where you're going. Drop it down a gear, use some engine braking. Oh, wow. <laughs> All the good views are where all the tricky bits are. Sorry, sheep. This stuff here really gives the suspension a workout. Wowzers. That is awesome. That is awesome indeedy. Oh man. You just don't get stuff like this down in Surrey and Sussex. Nothing like this whatsoever. Oh, I could 100% imagine moving up this part of the world if you have this on your doorstep. I know every trail can become a little monotonous if it's the only thing you ever do. Um, but like, look at this, all these views, all these views. Are we getting down to another reservoir or a lake or something? Looks like another reservoir there, doesn't it? Hello cows! Hello! Moo! You can really smell the nature here and I know that doesn't mean you can just smell cow poop um, but it, it is a little bit of that but it's just wonderful, wonderful absolutely fantastical Oh there's me ears popping We're at some altitude We are at some altitude <laughs> Hello sheep! I think the main thing I'm picking up from today is body position and gripping with knees and looking ahead. Uh, I think uh, that's a, a big skill thing to pick up on new to you trails. On the ones that you're familiar with, it's so easy to just, well, you know where you're going, you know what's going on, you know what's underfoot and all that sort of thing. So you don't sit there worried about what's underneath you. You just kind of can ride them. Whereas when you get into unfamiliar places and certainly on unfamiliar terrains and stuff like that um, you start worrying or at least I've noticed I've been starting worrying about what's underneath me more than what's in front of me and it means that I might well survive the thing that's in front of me or underneath me but then I'm not ready for what's up in front of me and yeah forward forward perception is 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 key because you generally can get over what's underneath you because your brain's already worked it out. Well, if it sees it far enough ahead of you, it, it works it out. Um, yeah. And overthinking, overthinking can be a pain too. Oh, what an absolute corker blinder, fantasticals day. Awesome. Getting a bit too close to Paul here. Let him get off ahead a little bit. Oh, you've got another reservoir over there. That was lovely. These slab sections we're going over are the, where the limestone pavement's showing through. Yep. We only get it on these top bits, and then when we drop down, we lose it. Oh, it gets all gravelly again. It gets gravelly again, yeah. Yep. But just, they're all cute when they're dry, but not to me, they're slipping around the way. I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, it's all polished, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, this is really popping the trailers one. Yep. So, Bobby's and uh, bikes and everybody. Yeah. So down south, most of our trails are all kind of through woody bits, really at least uh, in the lanes I've been riding down that way. Um, whereas up here, it's all out in the wilds. And it's so nice having views forever. Views forever. Yeah, I imagine this is all treacherous in the wet. Yeah, the suspension on this is fantastic. It's dealing with this stuff no problem at all. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Quite an incredible motorcycle this Aprilia, 
quite an incredible motorcycle, far better a, a bike than I am rider. Wow, look at that, what a view, what a view. Oh my, I think this is uh, the Roman road, I think, that Paul mentioned. Um, you can kind of guess that it would be with it being so straight. Them Romans, what do they ever do for us, eh? <laughs> Getting more used to the bike moving around underneath me now, which is nice. Um, yeah, earlier on today I was very tense when it was doing that. Um, whereas now it's it's just feeling better. So I'm guessing I'm guessing today has been a good skills day. A good skills day indeed. I think I'd really benefit from pivot pegs because I'm finding that I've got so much more confidence in my rider position when I'm leaning back on the peg. So basically it's just the, 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 the rear edge of the peg is, is what my foot is resting on. Um, sort of almost like a stirrup from riding a horse where your, your, your feet are pointing upwards. Um, I feel more planted on the bike. I feel I'm able to get my bum rearwards easier. And when I am a bit more rearward, I'm finding it easier to grip with my knees because there's a bit more seat there. So yes, yes, maybe that's what I should be doing. Maybe that's what I should have been doing all my life on these motorcycles. And I've only just realized it, who knows? <laughs> if that's the case, and this makes the cat, tell me in the comments below. <laughs> wow! That was awesome. So I'm following the, the middle rut. It's not actually a rut, it's just the worn bit of the grass where the motorcyclists have gone along instead of the edges where the 4x4s and four-wheel vehicles have gone along. Um, down south, this would be a rut and it would be very difficult on an adventure bike to stay in it because it would be a skinny rut from enduro bikes. Um, whereas here, it's, it's, it's not even a rut. It's, it's, just, it's just a bit of worn grass. It's amazing. I love this, I really, really do. So that tower that you can see on top of the hill, just above the green water bars are looking for. Yep, yep. That's the mine, so that's where we'll finish. Okay, wonderful. And you can just see kind of, there's a clump of trees in the foreground. Yep. To the left of it, you can just see the turrets of uh, Castle Bolton. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. That place is amazing. Are we going past that? Uh, we can do, actually, yeah. Yeah, that'd be Literally good. Literally right past this. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Incredible build. It's still lived in. And they've got a tea room and all that type of shit and stuff there, and you can climb right up to the top of the turrets. Oh, awesome! But it's an amazing place. I do like a good castle. Point, actually, because if we go up to the t up to the tower, up to the what it, and then turn right, it brings us out onto the road we need to be anyway. Oh, brilliant! So we're not—it's not—it's not, it's not a deviation or anything. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Depends how much uh, comfort your good lady's looking for. <laughs> oh, look at this, proper off-roading, on grass and everything. I feel like I'm Josh out of MVDBR. <laughs> Sorry Josh, no I don't mate, I don't. <laughs> this is very, very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. Ugh. He says nearly dying. <laughs> Look at that! I've possibly got the best tyres for this. Possibly got the best tyres for grass. Are they watching where they're going? The grass can really catch you out on these bikes because it is so slippery. Wow, that was brilliant! No lantana here, Josh. No lantana here. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Man, I'm about to be overtaken by a push bike. I think there might be electric assists. <laughs> You're going to be overtaking us, yeah! Off you go. 
Yeah, they're electric ones. That's cheating. Oof. I don't feel so bad being overtaken by them when they're electric. Even our lightest bike here up ahead, the 701. It's probably a hundred kilograms more than one of them. <laughs> All the bugs. Really should have my visor shut along here. This feels more like down south. <laughs> I think this is possibly the tightest trail we've done today. There's still no proper ruts in it. Awesome. Wow. This is tight now. <laughs> that was me saying about the lantana. I don't know what this stuff is, but it, it's... Uh... Oh, now we've got a rut. Now we've got a rut. I'm not good on ruts. Wow. After having been spoiled by how wide it's been so far today, that was... Well, that was a big rock. Big rock. Um, yeah, being spoiled by how wide it's been today is making up for it. It's making up for it now. Oh, I don't want to fall in that. It's stingers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I was like, that's like being back at home. Yeah. <laughs> You're a gentleman, thank you very much. And look at that, we even get a castle. We even get a castle. That is Castle Bolton, apparently. And uh, according to Paul, we get to ride right past it. Fantastic. Gotta love a castle. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love a castle? You're all crazy if you don't love castles. Paul was saying that people still live in it. Not in all of it, obviously, because it's pretty ruined. But they still live in some of that. That's fantastic. Awesome. Nice. Thanks for riding past that, Paul. I do love a good castle. That's the life, innit? Eh? Out in the sunshine. Nice. So this is the last one. Right, okay. We've got kind of around the corner. The mine's about halfway between here and the end of the trail. So yep. Probably stop at the mine anyway. Yep. I need to change the battery out. So, but yeah, it's just like this all the way up there. A bit loose in places, but yeah, no drama's coming. Fantastic. It's been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Incredible. When you look at that, I mean, it's Jesus. Else. It is, it is indeed. You can feel the wind has picked up over here. I'm gonna drop my visor down, hopefully that'll help with the audio. Um, but yeah, the wind's definitely picked up. The dust is clearing almost straight away. Um, so I'm kind of uh, frustrating that I've got to have the visor shut. <laughs> but the wind is definitely, definitely welcome because it's cooling me down. It has been one hot, hot, hot day. Ah, oh, this is amazing. See that tower over there, if the GoPro can pick that out, that's all where we're heading to. And there's a mine over there. And well, there's a mine all around here, to be honest. It is a mine. <laughs> but what a day, hey? What a day, hey, hey? Oh, he's gone. He's on a mission. <laughs> it's a shame Stuart didn't make it out all the way with us today. I do hope his ankle is okay. I think we're going to see him later on at our barbecue tonight. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully he'll be all right. Um, but yeah, 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 brilliant stuff. I hope uh, his ankle is fine. I'm sure it will be. I love that the UK has such variety in its trails. I very much can't wait to get to Wales to experience that. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, it won't be too technical, but hopefully it will be just challenging enough. Uh, okay. Didn't see which way he went. Probably went up the road bit, which I should have been on. Oh, 
what a location, what a location. Wowzers, wowzers. Oof. All I can say is what a day, what a day indeed. How cool is this? A little disused mine. Anyway, thank you so very much to uh, Biking Buddies, aka Paul. He's uh, been the absolute host with the most, and uh, as has been his family who've been uh, looking after me while I've been up here. So a brilliant day, Paul. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you. It's been wonderful. Uh, quite emotional. <laughs> Either that or there's just loads of dust in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the bike's been great. It's certainly been better than I have. Um, the T7 is quite a beastie, and that 701, wherever he is, hooning around, um, is awesome too. Um, so uh, it was been brilliant to meet you, Richie. Wherever you are, that's it. You 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 just you just pull wheelies, you little loony. <laughs> um, but it's been brilliant to meet you, Richie. Thank you so much um, for your company, banter, and all that stuff. It's been fantastic, mate. So yes, this is Yorkshire. This is Yorkshire. No, this isn't just Yorkshire. This is a bombsite. <laughs> but look at it. Look at it. <sighs> Amazing. I could move up here, you know. I really could. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Worth it for the riding. Worth it for the riding. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. We've got a thumbnail. We've got our thumbnail. Actually, no, we haven't got a thumbnail because there's one missing. There's one missing. Poor old Stuart. But we got a photo opportunity here anyway. Awesome. Anyway, right, that's it. So if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. And uh, whatever you do, please do drop in a comment. Right, let's get out of here, shall we? Well, I'm going to have a cup of tea. But um, yes, thank you so much for watching. You ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Awesome. Hey, no, you got to keep that bar. Rubber side down.